Yo, what's poppin' pussies? Your boy Beat Stripes here, bringing you Hardpoint Hamness Episode 2 on the map Slums. I really hope you guys enjoy this, and um, I really hope you guys enjoyed Part 1. Um, that's why I'm bringing you a Part 2. I didn't get that much feedback on it, so I hope to get a lot more feedback on this one. You know, I'm trying to pretty much turn my fan base into a competitive fan base. You know, all my subscribers, they want to see trick shotting, and that I understand. Now, I'm not quitting trick shotting. I'm still going to trick shot. I just, I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just in that competitive mode right now, man. And um, to, to be honest, I don't know how long I'm going to go with this competitive. You know, I feel real confident about it. I feel like I'm getting a lot better. I'm gaining every day. Um, every day I'm playing with me and Lodi and we just do better and better every day. Of course, I have my bad days. I have my good games, bad games, ups and downs with it. But, um... For the most part of it, we do pretty good together, and uh, we're still looking for that solid two players. So if you guys are interested, you know, PM me your channel, or uh, maybe you have any competitive gameplay on there. I really like to see it, or you know, add me on Xbox, send me a message or whatever at Beat Stripes, and um, you know, we'll try you out. We're really looking for some good people. And um, okay, now I want to jump into oh, and uh, this gameplay here, uh, I do get a lot of kills in it. I, I just really wanted to upload it towards the end. I start dying a lot I'm just kind of tell you kind of about it real quick before I jump into a story that I want to talk about um, I do start dying a lot in it. Um, I just really I just started running out there after I started getting so many kills I just I was like, fuck it. We won already. I just started running out there and kind of got off the off the objective You know what I'm saying? Uh, we were already like we were kind of close then we just start pull, started pulling away. So yeah, I just really hope you guys enjoy it now I want to talk to you guys about today because it's like a 10 and a half minute long video so I want to talk to you guys about my COD history like how it all started where um until where I am now you know um so yeah let's jump right into it okay first off I started in Call of Duty 4 my name was JRV1215 and um I was I had first started playing Call of Duty 4 back whenever my parents had bought me the game for Christmas you know um I had asked for Desert Storm or some shit like that and they got me this I was so upset that they didn't get me it and they had got me Call of Duty 4 I was like oh my god I didn't want this game you know I didn't tell them that but I was thinking that you know I I was, I was really selfish and ungrateful I don't know why and um in anyways um I started playing it and I started playing it more and more I never played online I was just playing like story mode I was like dude this game is shit you know um i just started playing it and playing it and then i think one day i heard that you could play online or something right i was like what the fuck you can play this game online so so i connected my internet and everything i, I kind of figured out how to set it up one of my friends had played online and i never knew and i asked them how to set it up whatever it wasn't too hard i just created me a, this is back on ps3 i created me a psn account and um i started playing you know i started playing online I think I started off when in free frauds. I'm pretty sure everybody started in free frauds when they first started. And um, you know, I was the worst. I was like, identified. I was I was happy if I got like three kills a game. I was like, oh my god, I, I finally got a kill. Yes, I got a kill. And as I started progressing in my my gameplay, um, I I noticed like I'm like I wonder if I'm ever gonna win a free frog game. That was like my main goal. For like a month gun so ready probably for a, a month or two right my main goal was to win a free for all game i was i was so determined to get that win in the free for all game and finally when i got it i was like a little kid jumping up and down you know i finally had won a free for all game and then after that i just started getting better and better and better and that's when i progressed into search and destroy i started playing search and destroy after i won so many free for all they just started winning like crazy so I jumped in to learn the search and destroy game and after I started playing that game mode and I adjusted to it that I was hooked on it I was hooked to search and destroy and I would play for hours countless hours a day couldn't stop playing so um that's whenever I like my score rank on Call of Duty 4 like after like a, a year or two straight playing um I think I was ranked 200 in the world in score that's, that's a big in score before all the hacking on Call of Duty 4. I was ranked like 200 in the world. And in wins, I was ranked like 160 or some, some shit like that. I don't know. And um, I was just completely, I, I was like well known in the Call of Duty 4 community. Like uh, 
this was not YouTube community, none of that. It was just and within the, 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 the like top players of the game. I was playing with all them guys. Um, we were like so good, and that's whenever. Okay, then War at War came out. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try this game out. I, I really want to try it. War at War came out, and I played it for about a week or two, and um, I gave it a chance, but it didn't nearly compare to Call of Duty 4 in my opinion. So um, I stayed on Call of Duty 4 until um, Modern Warfare 2 came out, and when Modern Warfare 2 came out. I um, gun ready for I started playing it and I was like, dude, this game is, is awesome, you know. Um, I uh, I, I was still hopping between Call of Duty 2, I mean Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4, back and forth. I was, I was still playing in it and um, I started really liking Modern Warfare 2 and that that's when I started kind of getting into like a competitive base where I started playing like game battles and stuff. And I had a team called, I, I, I believe my team Get Positive started in. Modern Warfare 2. I'm not. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure we, we did. And it was G3T Plus. That was our clan tag until they banned the plus symbol on um on PS3 and they made it. And we put um what was it? Uh, posi um PG gaming, like PGX, like for like positive gaming. That's what we named ourselves. And um, so I started playing Modern Warfare 2 GB and, and everything, and finally, you know, I got really, really good at sniping. I would snipe a lot in Modern Warfare 2, and that's actually when I first got my, my first uh, recording device for, for YouTube. That's when I created my GRB 1215 YouTube. I got my recording device. I think I had got a Pinnacle Studio capture card. That was, I, you know, you probably guys probably don't know what that is, but that's what I had. That was like... I thought it was the shit, you know, if you go back on my videos and watch my first montage, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed to actually say to go watch it, but that's how, you know, I was good, but the videos that I put up, well, the video that I put up was the most retardedest video you would ever watch in your life. If you actually go watch it, dude, I'm, I'm embarrassed for you guys to go, I'm actually embarrassed to tell you guys to go watch that video, but if you want to get a good laugh in to know how much of a noob I was, you know, go watch that video. That's how it started. Well, anyways, I took uh, uh, Positive Gaming to uh, Black Ops 2. I took Positive Gaming to, to Black Ops 2. I mean, Black Ops 1. Oh my God, I'm fucking up this whole commentary. Okay, and Black Ops 1, that's whenever we really started getting competitive. You know, we made, made a GB. You know, we weren't good at game battles. So, um, I was pretty much me and... Um, me and probably Ricky or Bams, or well, LX Bams, or um, or Aileen OG, we were probably, and maybe Trevor was, you Weenie and Average Grub, we did game battles together, and they weren't as good as I was in the competitive side, but we were really good, like pub stars, I ain't even gonna lie, we won like almost every game with the sniper, we would always snipe, and if we had to go ham, you know, and try hard, then we'll out our, our submachine guns or our, our, our ARs, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, that's whenever we really started getting into the competitive side, and I, and that's when I got a HD PVR. I, uh, I started doing really good with the HD PVR, and I started recording better gameplay. That's whenever I first started my, my commentaries in Black Ops 2, and um, and I started putting up videos, and I really didn't get no views back then. You know, I would get five to ten views and those were probably my own subscribers you know um uh let's see after black ops one and then modern warfare three came out and i stayed with the competitive side but i told my friends um when modern warfare three came out i didn't play modern warfare three as much as i stayed on modern warfare two whenever black ops one came out after i hit like my last prestige on black ops one i came back to modern warfare two and i started trick shotting and Whenever I started trick shotting, I um I got really into it. I just stopped all the competitiveness. You know, I even left all my my friends. You know, they didn't want to trick shot. They weren't all into the, the YouTube thing. I told them that I told them, you know what, guys? You know, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna switch to Modern Warfare 2. And you know, I really want to get this YouTube thing going. I really want to start deployed. doing something. You know, I, I just hate playing, you knowing I'm getting all these good gameplays and I'm not doing nothing with it. And um. You know, they understood, you know, I did Check get shit off. talked to by them, you know, they uh, told me some bad things, you know, like, what the fuck, you're a traitor, shit like that, but, 
in the long run they understood because now they want to do youtube you know what i'm saying and i can actually help them with that uh, you know as my my channel grew and um so um really you know i alien og i'm pretty sure you guys all know him he's a really really good feeder he's, he's a really good um he's actually getting better and competitive too and um oh wow this game's already wrapping up guys um I didn't get to finish talking to you about Operation as much as I wanted to, nice but job, next time when I when I do Hardpoint Happenings Episode 3, I will finish this commentary, and I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and comment. I greatly appreciate it, uh, and your boy B-Stripes. I'm out. Peace.